Okay, here we go. The long-awaited final vlog, part three, The World's End. What did I think? The movie's good. I mean, you know, I mean, come on. I mean, it's Edgar Wright, it's Simon Pegg, it's Nick Frost. It's uh, quite a few other familiar characters and actors. Do I think it's as good as Shaun of the Dead or Hot Fuzz? Not really. I mean, it's still a good movie. It's still very entertaining. It's still very funny. Uh, okay, so you got a pretty simple plot. Our uh, lead character, Gary King, Simon Pegg, wants to get back together with his friends because, well, he's a recovering addict, alcoholic, and uh, he... Is just, you know, he's a little bit like, well, I mean, he's pretty much like any one of us, where, you know, you get out of school, you have that ambition, you know, you have that dream, you have that delusionment, that you're going to go out and you're going to conquer the world, but reality sets in, and it's like, oh, all right, that's not the way the world works. You know, or at least it says, like, you need to put a little bit more effort or a lot more effort into whatever it is that you want to do for your dream or for your aspiration. And so he sets out on a goal to get all of his friends back together to do the one thing that they never finished, and that was the Golden Mile, where they go from pub to pub uh, back in their old hometown. And while they're there, they just happen to discover, oh, the entire town has been taken over by aliens. Not necessarily aliens, they're, um, they're robots, and they're not actually conquering them, where they're, it, it is very much a form of control, it's a little bit complicated, it's that, um, they're trying to bring humanity into their galactic fold, where they have, uh, an alliance of other galactic civilizations, and Earth was kind of the next or the most recent addition to the Alliance, in in a way. And everybody who, and there were a lot of people who wouldn't, who wouldn't conform, so they were replaced with robots, with these almost exact copies of them, who have uh, perfect memories, and, well, they have uh, select, selective memory. And then, you know, kind of goes from there. And... You know, and Gary and his friends are kind of the ones who rebel and say, well, no, well, we don't want this. We want our freedom. You know, we want to be able to do whatever the fuck we want. And you find out that, well, it's actually because of the aliens that we've had such a great leap forward in our technology. Because once the aliens leave, after Gary has convinced them that there's no point in arguing with you, you're just so goddamn stubborn and stupid. So, fuck it. They literally say, fuck it. And they leave. And when they leave, it ignites a pulse, like, all around the world where these aliens have been, and kind of sends us back to the Dark Ages. So, yes, the end. The world's end, indeed. Um, I guess, kind of... Why this movie was a bit of a hard watch for me is because Gary King, the character that he is, he is such a massive douchebag. He really is. He's very self-centered. He's very narcissistic. You know, where all he wants is, you know, all he wants is what he wants. You know, he doesn't really care about anybody else. I mean, he acts like he does, and in a way he kind of does, but he's very manipulative. And, uh, you know... You know, but at least when shit starts to hit the fan, he does, you know, he does kind of try to, in a way, be for the people that he cares about and tries to do the right thing, though he is still just after his goal. Mostly because, as he says, that's all that he has now is this one thing to do, and he wants to see it through to the end. So... Yeah. 
and you know, and you get a lot of great character moments too, uh, more especially uh, with Dick Frost's character. No, I mean, with a lot of the other characters, and you get a lot of that great comedy that these guys, that Edgar Wright and Simon Pegg, have always been able to do. And, you know, I mean, it is definitely a very good movie. Do I think it's as good as Shaun of the Dead? Not really. Uh, do I think it's as good as Hot Fuzz? Not really. Um, Hot Fuzz was a Hot Fuzz is a little bit of a hard sit for me, too, but I do still enjoy it. I mean, upon multiple viewings, it did get much better. Rating. What would I give this? Mm. I think i got to give this one a 7 out of 10. And I do apologize uh, that this video is going up so late. Uh, by the time I would have gotten around to recording this, after I finished watching the movie last night, it was after 5 o'clock in the morning, and I had a raging headache. So... So now, obviously, it's the next day, and I would have recorded this this morning before I left for work, but because my computer is right in front of my window, the entire background, and, and then even after trying to fidget with my camera settings, the background was still just way too bright. And I kind of prefer this new background that I've kind of set up as opposed to, hey, here's my closet doors, and here are these two little posters that you get to see, and that's it. Yeah. I just think that this is a little bit better, in a way. I mean, it won't be permanently like that. It won't be a Ghost Rider comic and then a Maxim comic fe featuring Mila Jovovich. Someday. <laughs> Please. Oh, and on a different note, I got a new capture box, and it works. It works with all of my systems, so very excited about that. And I rented today, uh, while I was over at VIP picture, picking up my new capture box, I also rented a copy of Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. So I'm going to check that out on my 3DS. So there we go, the final vlog, the end of the marathon. All three very good movies. Very good movies. Big recommendations on all three. Definitely do check them out if you have any interest. And I heard back from Luke this morning. He is on for doing the podcast tomorrow. So that'll be good. So I will call this one good. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.